Have you ever wondered how goods are transported across oceans? From the coffee beans that kickstart your morning to the smartphone you carry in your pocket, many of the products we use daily have journeyed thousands of miles via sea. The magic behind this global movement of goods is often attributed to liner shipping and liner conferences. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of these maritime logistics giants. Our journey begins in the late 19th century, when the first liner service, operating on fixed routes according to a published schedule, was introduced. These services were a revolutionary improvement over the irregular sailings of traditional cargo vessels. To ensure stability and predictability in this burgeoning industry, liner conferences were established. These are groups of liner shipping companies that come together to provide regular scheduled services on specific routes at agreed prices. Fast forward to today, liner shipping has become a vital cog in the wheel of global trade, responsible for carrying approximately 60% of the value of seaborne trade. The liner conferences play a key role in maintaining order and stability in this sector. There are two main types of liner conferences, the closed and the open conference. Closed conferences are exclusive clubs, where membership is strictly controlled. On the other hand, open conferences are less restrictive, allowing any shipping company to join, provided they meet certain standards and agree to the conference's terms. Like any system, liner conferences come with their own set of advantages and disadvantages. On the positive side, they ensure stability of freight rates, provide regular and reliable services, and help in maintaining a balance between supply and demand. However, they are not without their critics. Detractors argue that liner conferences restrict competition, leading to higher freight rates. They also claim that these conferences tend to be overly bureaucratic and slow to adapt to changes in the market. Despite their pivotal role in global trade, liner conferences have been on a steady decline. This decline can be attributed to several factors such as the advent of containerization, the rise of global shipping alliances, and regulatory changes that challenge the legality of price-fixing agreements amongst conference members. In conclusion, liner shipping and liner conferences have played a significant role in shaping the global trade landscape. They have facilitated the smooth and efficient transportation of goods across the world, contributing to our interconnected and interdependent global economy. However, with the evolving dynamics of the shipping industry, their future remains uncertain. As we sail towards a new era of maritime logistics, the lessons learned from the history of liner shipping and liner conferences will undoubtedly guide us in navigating the future. Remember, the next time you sip your morning coffee or scroll through your smartphone, a liner shipping service and a liner conference might have played a part in bringing them to you. It's a testament to the incredible journey of goods across the world and the complex logistics that make it possible.